Hello everybody, this is Bill Soto with SORCOM and today I'd like to give you a presentation on SORCOM's award-winning hot failover solution for IP PBX's called TwinStar. It was introduced in August of 2009 and as of today it is still the most cost-effective manufacturer supported hot failover solution for IP PBX's in the world. Let's go over the solution it provides full redundancy for a complete PBX system including the telephony interfaces. Its quick and automatic failover process keeps downtime to an absolute minimum. If you do experience a server failure, the XPP technology or the SORCOM peripheral protocol will actually switch over to the backup server in under 30 seconds. It auto detects the server failure and switches to the backup server automatically. There is no human intervention involved whatsoever. It is firmware based switching, so it's not local area network dependent. The minimum solution components are two SORCOM IP PBX servers with identical configurations, and there's a minimum of one AstroBank channel bank for the configuration to work. So let's review the setup. In this example, we're using two XE series servers. Whether it's 2000 or the 3000 series server will depend on your configuration. We're using one AstroBank, and in this example, it's an AstroBank that has a four port PRI module and eight FXS modules for standard analog telephones. We also highly recommend, even though it is not a requirement for TwinStar to work, we do recommend the redundant power supply for the AstroBank. This will power the AstroBank as well as you can integrate the AstroBanks into this unit through its internal USB hubs and then it will connect to the server. Let's see how we do that. On the front panel of the RPS or redundant power supply there is a main and a backup USB cable to connect to the primary and backup servers. This will work with the display panels that are on the front of the uh, XE servers because they are actually monitoring the status of the RPS unit. They can tell if it's online, if one of the uh, RPS units are being used, or the power supplies, if it is switched over, if it, there's a failure detection. It, so it's working with the XE servers. We can power the AstroBanks, up to 16 of them, through the front panel uh, power adapters that are in the front. So you don't require the power bricks or power adapters to power the uh, AstroBank. It will connect directly to the redundant power supply. And again, with the AstroBank, normally you would connect a USB cable from the AstroBank directly to the servers that's not necessary when you have the redundant power supply unit use the internal USB hubs connect directly there and then one USB cable from the hub uh, would go to the uh, primary server and the other to the backup server with this configuration you can configure up to 16 AstroBanks with one unit now even if you have one AstroBank we still recommend the redundant power supply because as we'll go over in a minute it's also the watchdog for the TwinStar solution. There's nothing really to break inside an AstroBank except it could lose power. So let's connect our LAN. So we'll connect our IP telephones and our servers. Now even though the TwinStar hot failover is a firmware solution, it is not dependent on the local area network for the switching. We are dependent on the local area network for the synchronizing of the two servers. So the backup server is always receiving the information from the primary. So everything that happens on the A server will be backed up on the B server. TwinStar software is installed on the AstroBank itself, not the servers. Again, the AstroBank is the watchdog. It will sense if there is a problem from the server and the primary in this example and then do the switching. So if you have multiple AstroBanks you'll need the TwinStar software loaded on each AstroBank. 
So let's connect our analog phones to the FXS ports. You can have your PRIs, T1, E1, or R2 signaling, uh, PRI, or channel associated signaling. We can handle all those protocols on the same PRI card. You can also add additional modules for FXO or BRI as well. The IP network. So if you have SIP trunking, besides having standard or traditional telephony interfaces, you also have SIP trunking as well. So now we're connected and we're running on our primary server. The system is active, in production, working just fine. All of a sudden, for whatever reason, we experience a server failure, whatever that may be. The system will sense the failure. Now you will lose the phone calls that you are currently on. But in less than 30 seconds, it will automatically switch to the backup server and everything comes back online. It really is that straightforward and that simple. When you find the problem with your primary server, you can fix it, connect it back up again, and it will begin to synchronize with the new primary server that's now on the right and the one on the left can remain as your backup server. There's no need to uh, jump it back and forth so the A, the, the A server becomes your primary again unless you want it that way you can manually jump the servers so then you always keep the A server as your primary if you decide to do that but it is not necessary. Anyway this finishes our little uh, demonstration or presentation I should say of SORCOM's hot failover solution called TwinStar. It really is the most cost effective and most efficient way to have a hot failover or redundant solution for your IPPBX. This is Bill Soda with SORCOM USA. Thank you very much for your time. Hopefully you enjoyed the presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Glad to help you. Take care.